U.S. warships destroyed 65 Houthi targets during operation in the Red Sea. The American Ali Burke-class destroyer, USS Kearney, returning from participating in a NATO operation in the Red Sea, is said to have destroyed 65 targets and ground facilities launched by Houthi rebels in Yemen. According to the American press, citing the U.S. Navy, during six months of combat duty in the Red Sea, the destroyer's crew successfully hit 45 air targets launched by the Houthis, including ground attack cruise missiles, anti-ship ballistic missiles, and unmanned systems. In addition, the ship carried out two strikes on Houthi targets in Yemen, destroying 20 targets. USS Kearney also entered U.S. Navy history as one of two ships to first use standard Missile 3 anti-aircraft guided missiles in combat. Although the USS Kearney has been in the U.S. Navy's arsenal for many years, it was not used in actual combat until Iran's massive attack on military installations in Israel. It was then claimed that American warships managed to shoot down four Iranian missiles. However, this claim was subsequently disputed by the Israeli press, which claimed that only two of the eight USS Kearney launched by the US managed to hit their intended targets. The US Navy command refused to comment on this information, citing security requirements. The USS Kearney was also reported to be the first US warship to use an SM-6 missile against a Houthi anti-ship ballistic missile in the Gulf of Aden. Besides, the United States called on Iran on Monday to halt its transfer of an unprecedented amount of weaponry to Yemen's Houthi militias, enabling their fighters to carry out reckless attacks on ships in the Red Sea and elsewhere. U.S. Deputy Ambassador Robert Wood told the U.N. Security Council that if it wants to make progress toward ending the civil war in Yemen, it should collectively call Iran out for its destabilizing role and insist that it cannot hide behind the Houthis. He said there is extensive evidence that Iran is providing advanced weapons, including ballistic and cruise missiles, to the Houthis in violation of UN sanctions. To underscore the Council's concern regarding the ongoing violations of the arms embargo, we must do more to strengthen enforcement and deter sanctions violators, Wood said. The Houthis say their attacks on shipping in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden are aimed at pressuring Israel to end its war with Hamas in Gaza. At least 19 civilians died in a series of Ukrainian strikes targeting the Russian city of Belgorod on Sunday, local governor Vyacheslav Gladkov has said. The bodies of 15 victims were taken out from under the rubble of a multi-story building that had collapsed earlier in the day as a result of one of the strikes. According to Russia, Kiev's forces launched another massive shelling targeting the city after the incident, the governor said. This attack claimed the lives of three more people, including a 17-year-old girl, Gladkov confirmed. Five more suffered various injuries in the strike, according to authorities. Gladkov added that, in addition to the the fatalities, over two dozen people were injured in the strikes. The second strike also damaged 17 apartments in five residential buildings, the governor said. That figure did not include the damage suffered by the partially collapsed apartment block. Earlier, the governor said that, an entire section of an apartment building, from the 10th to the 1st floor, collapsed as a result of a direct hit during a Ukrainian bombardment. At some point, the roof of the damaged building collapsed as well, while the rescuers were clearing the rubble underneath. A source in the governor's office told MASH Telegram channel that no one was hurt in that incident. Another Telegram channel, shot, claimed that at least three people sustained injuries in the roof collapse. The Russian Defense Ministry reported that Ukraine had attacked residential areas of Belgorod, using a Tochkayu tactical missile system, as well as rockets from Alka and RM-70 Vampire multiple launch systems. The ministry further asserted that Russian air defenses had intercepted six Soviet-era Tochkayu missiles, four Vampire rockets, and two Alka projectiles.